Yo guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own webcam overlay in Photoshop. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to type in the width as 1920 and height is 1080. Hit create. And you want to give the background sort of a, a grey sort of gradient. So change these to the grey, a grey colour. And then drag down while holding shift and it should just become grey. So the rectangle tool even um, and you want to make sure it's there's no fill uh, the stroke is black 10 pixels and click and change the width to 480 and change the height to 270 yeah, okay and because it'll probably be there it control and t center it and then what you want to do is you want to get your pen get the pen tool and you want to make some selections make selection oh and also don't forget to rasterize your shape like I have so then you've got that control D and you've already got a little sort of outline you can see how streamers sort of do this, so again, just sort of create your own. Okay, now you've got your basic like outline. Now you want to change its color, so you want. To so what you want to do? You want to hit gradient overlay. You want to change it to the two colors you want, so you can have dark red and light red. And hit OK. Drop shadow. I would, I wouldn't add the spread too high because it can get in the way of your. Of viewing experiences but basically we've got a sort of basic shape and a little bit of design so what we're gonna do now go on to Google type in I'm just gonna uh, go for rust but you can go for any sort of game rust background game images and I'm gonna choose this just grab my attention so I'm gonna go copy paste and then new layer, paste, so control V, then hold control and hit the little thing here, press, go to the last lasso tool, hit select inverse, press delete. So if you don't like where the texture is, turn down the opacity of this um, picture by hitting opacity and then turning it down. And then what you want to do is you want to sort of drag it to wherever you think would look best. So I'm going to choose here. Turn it back to 100. Control. Hit rectangle. Lasso tool. Select inverse. Delete. And then Control D to deselect. Now what we want to do is go on to double click. Blend mode, overlay, and that should give you a pretty, a nice sort of design on your uh, webcam. What else you could do? You could add some custom shapes, which I I like to do. Hey, axe on my chest, chest, fresh like crest, straight headshots, only lames, aim for the best. I'm taking ninety nine point nine percent of the bet. Y'all can have all the rest. Stress. Intravenously, I feed these niggas the true serum. Spit fire like you got a dragon in the pool with them. Hold your head and stand still. Balance the equilibrium. So, what you want to do now is create sort of a place for you to put your name. The pie stretcher, measure, the texture of the fish scale, pie the dresser, on the sea biscuit. Win by a nose in the track, live at the aqueduct, New York Yank on the hat, who's up the bat? Whoa, sending the SOS to the slums of Shaolin, and to the late night hustlers on the north side of the island. Surveillance at the corner of my eye, bitch, get off the Snapchat and drive. I'm being followed because I sold a thousand Instagrams. Glide, glide, glide.
There you go, you can add your custom text. So I'm just gonna add my name. I'd change the color to red. Double tap on this. Uh, give it a drop shadow. Make the size very small. And you can give it an outer glow as well. I think an outer glow would not be nice if you gave it like the white. Give it a lot of spreads. Make your size a tiny bit big. Give it a pattern overlay. That would be. Or I'd say a gradient overlay actually would look nicer in this instance. And in the shadow as well. Don't make the size too big. Gradient overlay, all you need to do is just add two colours. One slightly darker than the other, but sort of similar. And you've got yourself sort of. I mean, this is nowhere near done, but. Give this a drop shadow. Now you've got sort of a simple, nice looking webcam that you can use in your stream. Okay guys, that's going to be it for the video. Um, sadly, some of my recording crashed, but basically, uh, once you've made that, uh, if you've made something like that, don't forget to add some drop shadow by going into the blending options. And yeah, uh, if you could also check out my Twitch. I try and stream every other day, and um, it, you should find my link in the description. I'll also be streaming games like Rust on there too. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully I can see you in the next one. Try and either follow my Twitch or join my Discord. It would be very helpful. You don't have to, obviously, but it would help me out a lot. Yo, let's kill. Let's kill, let's kill. Do it. Hey, do it. Yeah.